Hello, so welcome back. So this is episode 6. This week I'll be talking about the laminated, laminated object manufacturing, LOM. In episode 4, you will know that LOM was first developed by Helices and then later there's a variant of L LOM that uses paper by developed by MCOR. So let's begin. So for the aims and learning objective, the aims once again is to just provide factual knowledge on the process and the application of the LOM technology. The learning outcomes is hopefully that you able you'll be able to describe how the LOM process works, states the advantages and disadvantages of the LOM process, and lastly to state an application or tool from the LOM process. So yeah. For the first learning outcomes, we will talk about the process of the LOM. So there are five steps. Firstly, a sheet of paper or a sheet of material is placed onto the build plate. Tentatively, there, are, there is some glue on the build plate so you can attach the first sheet onto it. The second step is the application of the glue. So more glue will be applied on within the cross section of the part and less glue will be applied on the outside of the cross section. Next, the, a new sheet of paper or a new sheet of material will be placed on top of the previous sheet and, and there will be a high pressure press that will bond the two sheets together. Next, the sheet will be cut either by a tungsten blade or a carbon dioxide laser. So you cut in a in a square fashion so within the cross section you can see the you'll see that the cuts are finer and on the outside of the cross section the squares are bigger so this process repeats itself and eventually you will form a paper model or a 3d model so yeah so next, we'll move on to the advantages and disadvantages of the LOM process. So firstly, the advantages. So because the material is in a sheet form, so there's a wide range of material you can use. As long as the cutter that cuts the material is strong enough, you can use the material. And that the glue is able to join the two sheets together, you can use the material. Next advantages is that there is no need to add additional support because the the sheets that surrounds your part acts as the support itself, so that's very good. But this also means that it is a bit it, it is a very tedious to remove the support material because the support material is like totally surrounding your part, so there's quite a lot of wasted materials. Next is a very fast process because, because what you're doing is that you're just cutting the contour of your cross-section. You're not actually filling the entire cross-section. You're just going through the perimeter of your cross-section. So these are the three advantages. So now for the disadvantages of the LOM process. It, it is difficult to fabricate thin geometries or complex thin geometries because the thin geometries, firstly, the cross section is very small, so the application of glue will be quite difficult because this each cross each thin cross section has to join to each other, and it's also very difficult to cut very thin strips of material. So, so the next disadvantages is that the strength of your part depends on the adhesive strength of the glue, especially in the Z axis, because it is the glue that's actually bonding your part together. So this is a point to take note. Lastly, if the material that you are using is your normal printing paper, then a disadvantage could be the absorption of water might warp the part, might distort the part. So this is, this is a disadvantage based on what material you use. So as for the application, full colored models can be produced for visualization and form fitting so this is a very unique advan unique application and advantage of the LOM process because each sheet can be printed out in full color 
and then they then it is later used to join up one by one. Next application is in the use of a functional part. So I found this off a textbook, which said that LOM is has been used to create a hot gas manifold for the space shuttle. So this is a metallic part. So the sheets they use are made out of metallic. So you join the metallic piece together and surprisingly strong enough to create functional parts. Lastly, LOM can be used in the creation of patterns and molds. So traditionally, some molds has been made out of wood. So LOMs, when you use the printing paper and you use LOM technology, the final part is very similar to wood. So you can, you can use it to make patterns and mold of very complex shapes probably. So this is the last application. So yeah. So I've actually finished presenting all the factual knowledge that I want to present for this episode on the LOM. So now I would, I would want to encourage a bit more active learning. So I'll give you three, three questions in which you'll sort of be able to think what the answers are and hopefully it will better your understanding and your memorization of what I've said. So firstly, could you could you describe the LOM process? What are the five stages that I said? Can, and the next question would be, could you state two advantages and disadvantages of the LOM process in your mind now? So, and lastly, could you state one application of the LOM technology? Like how would you use the LOM technology if you have something like that in your school, laboratory, or in your company? So, take a while to think this through. So, yeah. So, yes, I, I hope you took the last one minute to think through the questions. So here are the answers. So once again, the LOM process, there are five steps. So first you lay the material down, then you apply glue. So within the cross section of the part, there is more glue applied as compared to outside of the cross section. Then you lay an, another material on top of the glue. So and you bond the glue, you bond the two pieces of material together. And lastly, you cut out the slice. Then you repeat the process. So as for the advantages and disadvantages, firstly, LOM process is cheap because you are using printing paper. And you can use printing paper if you want. And it's also quick because you are just cutting the perimeter of the cross-sectional cross-section. You're not actually filling each cross-section. Disadvantages of LOM is that it, there's a limitation when if you want to print out small complex geometries because it's very difficult to cut very fine pieces of materials and lastly the strength of the material is very limited to the glue that you use for the last question that i want you to think was the could you name an application of lom so the most prominent application is in the full color prototype for visualization and fit forming this is a very very unique advantage that lom has so thank you once again. I hope you enjoy episode 6 on the laminated object manufacturing method. So these are the references. Uh, the textbook, Rapid Prototyping Principles and Applications. And from my graduate studies, the module that I took, Prototyping and Rapid Prototyping from NTU. And the picture on the content page by the third reference and lastly the illustration showing the process of LOM is the fourth reference so furthermore in this episode and the next few episodes I'll be putting relevant info relevant videos that other people made on LOM because I'm I, I'm sure that there are many other videos based on LOM so it'd be nice if I could compile them into this series so that you not only watch my video but you also watch the relevant videos that which are made more professionally so it's quite good so I thank you once again and I hope you enjoy episode 6 and stay tuned for episode 7 next week thank you very much